Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penj and welcome to Airport CEO. It's finally here. Long last. I've had my eyes on this for quite some time and it's finally arrived. So it's on Steam now in early access. And I think for the next, is it week or two weeks? It's cheaper in the next sort of couple of weeks, I think, if you want to buy it then, then it's going to be after two weeks. It's kind of got like a sort of new introductory kind of uh, price thing for it. It's in early access, so expect things to not be there like this stuff. You go to audio settings and it says, audio settings have not yet implemented. However, can I just say, I love this. Love the rolly over thing. It's lovely with like the airport sort of flicky letterboard things, whatever they're called. I'm sure they're not called flicky letterboards. So as far as I can tell, Airport CEO is a cross between a tycoon game where you look after lots of airports around the world. I think, I think that's what it is. And an airport building kind of sim management type game. So it sounds pretty much right up my street. So let's start a new airport right now and just get on with what we're doing. So it says a new airport. Look, begin a new adventure. So here we go. Let's begin a new adventure. Oh, I get to pick who I am. This is splendid. Uh, okay, what can we have? Lots of different things. Hang on, where's that other guy? Oh no, it's just random each time, is it? Where's the, the white-haired man? There, that. In fact, that, yeah, that'll do. Can I not have a different mouth? Can I have a different mouth? How many are there? Oh, only a couple. Right, okay. A different nose? Yeah, that, yeah, that one. That one. Back, back, back. There, that's good. That's not too far off me. I don't, uh, suit. I'm not, I'm not got a tie. Right, there's only a few suits. Yeah, I'm having that. I don't, I don't wear a tie. That's fine. First name. Can we get away without having a surname? Do we need a last name? Hopefully not. Okay, let's just have Penge. Let's just see if we can get away. Continue. Okay, confirm airport location. Okay, so here's a it's a world map. Okay, fine. Wow. So I guess we get to pick big cities, do we? Do we get to pick like Washington or whatever? And I imagine if you pick somewhere big, if you pick like, you know, Los Angeles or London or something, it's easier. And if you pick... Yeah, just there in the middle of the Arctic or something. It's going to be a harder game. Well, I let's go to over here. Oh my goodness! Really? It's got a whole. It's got a whole map on it. Hang on, hang on. How far does this map go? That's as far as the map goes. So where I live, I live round here. I'm not going to exactly where. You could find out. I'm sure if you looked on Twitter or whatever. But I live round here. Can I? Can I literally place an airport anywhere I like? So I could put an airport just here. Which is sort of near where I live. Oh my goodness, I can place it literally anywhere. And there's purple lines. The, the, the map's been attacked by some children. Okay, so I can literally put the, put the map wherever I want. I can create a new airport in the East Midlands. My airport. Okay, confirm airport location. Does this have any bearing on the difficulty of it? Airport name. Geek. Cupboard. Airport. Airport IATA code. Okay, well, GCA, if it's a three-letter code, that makes sense. A logo. Okay, is there anything blue? That's blue. Mountains? Yeah, not really where I am. It's quite flat. Palm trees, none of those either. Or planty stuff. Do you know what? Palm trees. Let's, let's make the East Midlands look more glamorous than it actually is. Uh, and, ah, this is the difficulty bit. Okay, uh, so it's pretty easy for an airport being a CEO. will pose no threat to your pension. Two million dollars. So I assume that's a slider. Yeah, moderate. He's a million dollars. Difficult, half a million dollars. And extreme is $250,000. It says, don't even bother. This is the worst job you'll ever have. Okay, no, I think for now, as we get used to what we've got to do and as we try and work things out, let's put it on the nice, easy mode. Because we, I'd rather have fun and learn about the mechanics. And then if we, you know, if we figure out what we're doing, we could start a game on moderate or whatever. But for now... Because we're going to be bumbling around. Let's just build a nice, nice airport with two million dollars of cash. Okay. So what do I just launch? I just start my new airport, do I? It's loading. Oh, this is very lovely. Okay. Loading. Loading the alpha build. Version 0.21. A little letter from, oh, from Gregor Fonsworth, the mayor. Uh, okay. Right, so he says, thank you for the last meeting. I hope you like your new digs. Yes. Oh, look, I can move around. There we go. I can move around and see if there's a road. There's a road coming in. That's a good thing. I know it isn't much, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. You've got a lot of work ahead, so you better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport. Let me remind you that you have a budget to keep to, and we count on you to get this place making a profit. Oh, dear. Don't hold your breath, Mayor. 
Good luck, and we'll talk soon, I hope. Or, well, my people will send you a message. Here's the most important stuff you need to know. Okay, tab, open and close management panel. Right, okay, management perspective, economy, staffing, new products. Okay, that's probably important. So tab, control panel, okay. Use the manuals panel for guided instruction on how to build an airport. Is the manuals panel in the management panel? I don't know. An F1 for tips on stuff. Okay, so how to interact with the UI. That's all, best of luck to you. Uh, best regards, it's Greg Afons with the mayor and he sent to my inbox, so I don't feel too lost. Good luck, okay, I would not want to feel lost. Got it. Okay, I feel lost. Good lord. Okay, there's a lot of things on the screen. There's a top panel. That's your kind of general stats stuff. There's a game menu up there. Okay, that's fine with the speed. Can we pause it? No, not we can't. Space is normally paused. Nope, space doesn't pause it. Management panel. Ah, there's the management panel. That's tab. Manage manuals and tutorials. Okay. Uh, flight planner. <laughs> don't worry about that yet. We've got to build an airport first. Construction and demolition and overlays. Okay, uh, how do I do stuff? It says manuals and tutorials. So let's come out of that. Is this obvious? Right, can we pause the game first? Right, okay, so what have we got? Big space, nice big space with a little... What's that then? What's for the, that? Builders, construction people. Right, okay, the builder people are going to work here. So I assume I have to employ some builders, employee, staff, enter search phrase. Builder, builder, no, okay, uh, it's not as obvious as that then, applying as airport staff, there's lots of people who want to apply as airport janitor, service tech, security, airport staff security, uh, ramp agent, I don't know what that does, what's that, ramp agent, you sound cool, um, okay, how do I employ, right, let's go to the manuals, Okay, construction. Construction might be good. The, the CE online learning platform. Let's look at construction. Let's see how we can build the thing. Okay, sign a construction company. The first step toward constructing an airport is appointing a contractor company. Oh, so I don't have my own builders. I get contractors in to do the building work. Okay, you need to sign a contract with an external construction company to get started. To sign a contract, go to the contracts tab in the economy panel. Review your offers. The economy panel. When you're, well, once you've signed a deal with a company, you then need to head over to the operations panel, open the constructions tab. Oh, I got all this. To call the construction workers to your airport. When they have arrived, they will start building. Okay, so open the economy panel. Is that one of these? Economy panel and navigate to the contracts tab. Well, that says contracts there. Oh, here, right. Economy panel, contracts tab. Contracts tab is there as well, isn't it? Contracts. Okay, so accepted is none, offered is... Okay, so I've only got this one. Okay, so if I click on that then... Okay, right, contract proposal. The contract was in HWY, which is the building people. It was established in Henry Yardley in 2010. Blah, 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 blah. Right, okay, lovely stuff. Maximum contract is 73. Hourly fee used per contract at 8.5. Uh, okay, so sign. Sign. Okay, does it sign? Already have a contract of this type. Cannot have more than one. Cancel the current contract first. Okay, has it signed it? And it just didn't sort of update. Okay, fine, right. It's signed. Then it said, what did it say? Go to the something or other. Manuals. What did it say? Operations panel. Navigate to the construction tab. Make sure that one contract to offload site and one delivery site exists. I assume that's what those, where is it? Those things are. Deploy the construction crew. So construction tab on the operations thing. There, operations, construction tab, deploy. Ah, deploy contractors. Okay, so we get whole controls to increase by 10. So let's get ourselves 30 contractors to start doing some building work. Okay, is, is that good? Does that now mean they're going to appear? What do I do now? How do I look at the next bit? Construct terminal. I want to go construct a terminal, please. That would be a good plan. Okay, maybe I need to move time on. So I'm going to assume it's one is low speed. Oh, look, it's it's got triple speed. It's got a third speed. Sometimes games only have like a pause, a uh, normal and a fast. They've got double and triple speed. That is very good. Okay, what do I do now? Do I just have to wait for them to turn up? Because there's nothing happening. Let's speed time on until, say, if this happened by 10 o'clock. 
I will uh, possibly need to worry about what's going on. I don't really know what I'm doing. Where is anything happening? Hello? <laughs> is anything going on? Okay, I don't really see what's happening. Should I be doing something else? Did I do that right? Right, time is normal. Where was that? It was cogs, wasn't it? Construction. So deploy 30... Co oh, do I have to press the big button to do it? Okay, deploy 30... Ah, okay, right. I ring up using the phone. Okay, fine. Right, now speed time on. There we go. There's a little bus thing appeared. Right, okay. Manuals. Now what? Construct terminal. Right, okay, so it updates as you go along. With construction workers on route. Yes, here they are in a big yellow bus. Uh, you are now ready to start placing out objects, forming a blueprint for the airport. Highly recommend to start by placing the terminal foundation as a first step. Okay. Refer to the below image of an exact depiction of the terminal construction function. Yeah, it's not the best image. Again, yeah, obviously because it's early access, the images are not the clearest they could be. It looks a little bit like I'm drunk and I'm trying to look at something important. Okay, open the structures section of the construction panel, bottom left of screen. Okay, yes, it's just here. Select terminal foundation, drag the desired terminal size, wait for the construction workers to get to work. To demolish a specific object, hold control when the corresponding area is selected in building panel and left click. To delete an area of room, press the area and press the delete button in the display panel. Okay, right. Well, let's say we'd have to start demolishing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, where do, the, where do people come in? So it says, connect to the public transport system. So the terminal boats highly recommended to construct a bus stop. So the closest cities can implement bus lines and car drop-off sites. Okay, so we're going to want to factor in cars then, are we? As well. Can we do that now? Are we allowed? Yeah, what I'd quite like is they're going to come up here, drive along here maybe. Yeah, let's 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 elongate this road a bit like oh this is very good like that mm, how do i commit that like that click oh right okay oh look so some stuff's there look the little builder guys are just stood about there they are the little the little contractor men there they are lovely hello and then we want a thing along here so this is going to be the front of the airport so let's have 16 oh my goodness 16 times two so two lanes like that so what else can we have then? What does that say? Start saying about? I, I kind of don't want to build the terminal before I know where the traffic's going to come in. Car drop-off sites and buses. Bus stop. That's probably a good sign. Ah, there, there, there. Bus stop. Right. A bus stop. There's two bus stops. What's a car drop-off look like? Ah, like that. In fact, okay. One, two, three, four, and five car drop-offs. It looks like I actually know what I'm doing. I've got a clue. Right. And then can we bring that back round? Like that for a road and then join it up to there. So will that all link round? Will that all come round and be good? Look, the little builder guys are swarming around like little tiny swarmy worker men ants. Come on, ant force. Do the stuff. Right, so these that's dropping off all the crates and whatever it is to build. So let's just slow time down. Does it tell me what it is? Does it tell me what they're... Oh, look how... Oh, my goodness. You can zoom right in. Oh, look. They're proper little kind of animated people almost. Little hard hats on. These guys look different though, somehow. Oh no, you zoom out and the other oh, hats come off when you zoom out. <laughs> okay, right you are. So, yeah, they built a bus stop. So that's cool. So the buses can come in. So they're going to come in on the right and then they're going to have to sort of pull it. Oh, it's a bit complicated. Yeah, maybe that'll help. Maybe they'll come in this way, drop off there and come back round out here. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll sort the transport out later. As long as we've got some sort of function for people to get in and out. There we go. Lots of drop-off sites. Lovely. So are they building the car stuff? Oh, look, there you go. So a car drop-off. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Is there not a car park? And a bus has come in. Look, the bus has come in. So is that a bus? There's nothing here yet. Don't worry. The dude stood there. Who are you? Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm just stood about doing nothing. I'm stood about doing absolutely nothing. Title CEO and I'm just stood there not helping her. I can't find anything to do. Yeah, just go home or something. Right, so they're still building this. So now I get to build the... Oh, God, what was it? The terminal? Which one was it? I've forgotten. I've kind of skipped a section. A structure section, construction panel, terminal, foundation. Okay, let's clear that out of the way. Terminal, foundation. Right, okay. How big do I want the airport to be? Like that? 20, I've got to have it by 10. 25 by 10 to start with? Or a little bit bigger, 25 by 11. What am I going to need? 
What am I going to need? I'm going to need to check in, have security bit, have a gate. So yeah, what about 25 times 50? What about that? We'll do that look for now. I think that, oh no, that's really irritating because it's not quite symmetrical over the sides. Oh, hang on, start again, start again. So I have two over the sides, so it's like that. 22 by 14, that'll do, whatever. Right, build that. Oh, look. Okay, so where are all the dudes? Are they just stood in the road? <laughs> Don't stand in the road. The idea would be, eventually, this could be a car park. So you come in and park your cars out the front for longer and drop people off. There's five parking spaces there, though. So that's not so bad. Yes, yeah, so they come in on the right, don't they? They're going to be driving on the right. See, obviously, in the UK, we drive on the left. So that's going to have to come in. Okay, and go up here. And then how are you going to do this then, bus? Oh, no, you're turning into that space. Okay, oh, you're the delivery truck. Of course you are. Okay, while they do that, let's just speed time on a little bit. Let's have a look at what there is. So there's foundation. Foundation bulldozer. So we remove the foundation. Floors. Different coloured floors. Very nice. Walls. Small doors, medium doors, large doors. Okay, that's good. A large door that opens for people and vehicles. Opens with a slide. Opens with a swing. Right, small doors are swing doors. Other doors are sliding doors. There is a fence. Vehicle depot. A uh, small ATC tower and a, a weather station. That's quite cool. And trees and light poles. Illuminates its surroundings. Oh, cool. I might put some light poles in over here. That might be quite fun. Okay, so that's good. So that's the bus drop-off bit. And there. Okay, what else is the infrastructure? Road, service roads. Used for transportation inside the tarmac area. Connects to stands and airport vehicle structures. Okay. A uh, crosswalk allows people to cross roads, sidewalk people to walk on. Oh, should I put some sidewalk in, possibly? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever, never mind. We, we can do that later. Uh, bus stop, car drop off, we've already got. Offload site, and it was contractors. Ah, so that's these bits and a loading site. A bus shelter provides shelter from the weather and a checkpoint. Enables a normal road to connect to a service road. Ah, well, hang on. We've got bus points here. Why don't we put some bus shelters in? Uh, I don't know which way round they go. I'll just have it like that. A couple of bus shelters at the back. Like that. There we go. And then if people are waiting for the bus, they can get in the bus shelter. Yay! And then tarmac. Here we go. So small runways. Tarmac. Taxiways. Taxiway node. Oh my goodness. Small stand. Medium stand. This is going to be complicated. Items. So they're still building. They're still building things. I do like how it looks like a blueprint. I like that with the proper sort of lines as though it is a blueprint. Uh, okay, yeah, look, so they, they, the walls are separate to the actual flooring. Okay, right, items, info, desk, useful. Check it, oh, hang on, use my passengers to acquire information about the airport and flights. Okay, check-in desk, small security checkpoint, L large security or normal security checkpoint, I suppose. What's that? Enable people to enter a secure zone requires one, whereas a large one or regular security checkpoint needs four people. Okay, boarding desk for boarding the flights. Security area exit enables people to leave a secure zone. Does not require any security staff to function. Okay. Airport screens. Right. Okie doke. Uh, sofas, chairs, gate seating. <laughs> I like that. Trash can, office desk. Office offers an employee a place to work. Okay. Why are there employees? Right. Plants. Very nice. Bathroom, sink, toilet with two T's. And a urinal allows people to relieve themselves. <laughs> a sink allows people to wash their hands. Yes. Okay. So presumably once this is done, I'm going to need to start sort of breaking it off into different bits, am I? So I'm going to want to, yeah, the check-in people, say here, and then go over here and have some shops or something over this side. Yes, we're going to need doors because no one, currently no one can get into the airport because there's a massive wall on the outside. In fact, don't lock yourselves in. <laughs> Don't lock yourselves in the airport. That would be very embarrassing. Let's get... Where was it? Items? Where were the doors? Structures. Large doors. Yeah, we might need we might need some doors in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll do. Nine doors. Nine large doors so people can actually get into the place. Look, they're stuck inside. <laughs> they can't get in. Oh, no. Right, okay. The doors are being delivered. Splendid. There we go. So we've got a nice big doorway into the airport. Lots of lovely, lovely doors. Right, let's put time back to normal speed. So I guess the plan would be to have people coming in here. So have the check-in desks here. And then have a nice bit kind of over this side with some shops and stuff. Then the security bit. 
and then the waiting area, so the gate bit. But let's see what our tutorial is telling us to do, because now we've done some of this. Uh, person walking restrictions. As airports are complex mega structures, it is important to remember that different persons should only be allowed within different areas on different types of surface. The government has set the following rules for how people can move about. Construction workers can walk across any surface and any zone area. They can walk on grass and across roads and do not need to pass security checkpoints. Passengers and employees can only walk on sidewalks and inside the terminal. They are required to pass security checkpoints if moving to a new zone area. Security personnel are not required to pass security checkpoints. So open the infrastructure section of the control panel. Select sidewalk. Place sidewalks to enable passengers and employees to go from bus stop and car drop-offs to the terminal building. For passengers and employees to cross roads, you must place crosswalks. Well, I've kind of done that there. They kind of can do that, can't they? Is that not what that is? Uh, infrastructure. Sidewalk. Do I need to... Yeah, that, that's supposed to be where that is. Oh, do I need to demolish that and just put a sidewalk in? Oh, that's a bit tedious, isn't it? Okay, fine. Foundation bulldozer. Let's... Whoa, okay, wow. Okay, that's extreme then. Let's bulldoze that. And the doors, which I've just bloody put in. Right, three. Oh, gosh, they're quicker that then. Oh, wow, okay, fine. Good, good job. Right, we need some walls back in then, I suppose. So let's hoik a wall across like that. And then put those doors in again. I suppose it doesn't really matter where they are now, does it? I was doing it so they're all level, but no, it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, yeah, I want to come in on this side. This is where, yeah, let's have it exactly the same as it was before. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight doors. Okay, so they're still demolishing these walls and stuff as they go. Right, so demolishy, demolishy. Can you take the doors out as well, please? I don't want the doors there either. Are you taking the doors out? Oh, so they're just in the foundations, of course. Let's do that. Look, demolish all those things, please, including the doors. Take the doors out. There we go. Splendid. Right, what do they want then? Sidewalk. Seems a little bit silly, but okay, fine. So let's put sidewalk in so you can walk from there to there, even though you could walk from there to there anyway, but never mind. Okay, now what? Am I still required to do that? Okay, yes, they still need to actually build that, do they, for me to then carry on. So that's in progress. I assume I need that noise means it's finished. Do I need to go back in? Yay, there we go. Zoning restrictions. An airport can be divided into several different zones. An area that is not zoned at all is known as an open area. It can be accessed by anyone. Certain objects, such as boarding desks, are required for place inside a secure area. A secure area is an area that is zoned with the security zone, and for a person to access it, they are required to pass through a security checkpoint when entering and a secure area exit when leaving. Oh, yeah, I'm going to think about baggage and stuff, aren't I? Think about baggage terminals and all that kind of... Oops. Oh, bother. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't considered that. Where did they get their bags? I didn't see anything to do with bags in there. Toggle, oh my goodness, there's a thing there, conveyor belt. There's something that's a toggle conveyor belt. Oh, there's conveyor belts, okay. Right, have they finished doing my pavement yet? Sidewalk, sorry. No, not finished yet. Okay, sip of tea time. Lovely, splendid. Okay, so I need to do some zoning. Areas can be zoned, also be zoned for employee access only. To do this, use the staff zone tool. Please refer to the below image. Yeah, for an, ide <laughs> for an ideal perspective. Yeah, a bit blurry, of how a typical person flow between different zones can be structured. Oh, splendid. Zone your airport to prepare for the perimeter separation, for the different perimeter separation. Note, the entire secure zone area must be connected, including doors and pathways. Okay, so I have to separate it off into a secure area. Uh, okay, right, so I'll kind of want the top staff. What's that? Restricts access to, to staff only to various parts of your airport. Note that staff zone isn't the same as staff room, which is meant for your staff to relax in. Ah, I need a staff room, do I? Okay, let's try and zone this out then. So structures, wall, and then I want to put some floors in as well because it looks a bit rubbish. So let's have a bit here so people can come in, they can get in the queues for the, yeah, let's put them there. So let's have a wall going along like that. And that can be the check-in bits. There can be all sorts of check-in bits just there. And then I assume we're going to need a room for the staff to go into. Now I don't know exactly what that entails, but let's just do 
that for now, like that. And then we put a, a, a medium door. Yeah, a medium door on. Let's treat you to a... Oh, I've tilted the whole airport. Let's put a medium door in for the staff. Lovely. So the staff can go into there, which is nice. So areas. So secure areas. Yeah, so this is going to be when you've checked in, when you've gone in. So that's going to be like that. Oh, like that. And a secure area over there. Like that. So that's all secure and it's gone, which is a bit weird. So how do you do security? How does security work? Security checkpoint. Must be placed inside. Must be placed in a secure zone. Must board an open and a secure zone. Oh, ah, right. Okay, I can rotate it round. Ah, okay, right. So they're big. They're quite big. They're quite a big thing. And it could be like that. Ah, right. Okay, right. I, okay, right. I'm seeing. I'm getting this. So I could, obviously that's no use there, but I could put them along there, say, and have four security bits, or five, or whatever it is. How many can I fit? One, two, three, four. Fit one, two, three, four. Four along there, and I can't fit a fifth. Not, not really. I'd need to demolish one square of wall. Is it worth doing that? Do you know what? It probably is. Pause, 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 pause. Pause is P, by the way, which is really irritating. I don't really like it being P. I'd rather it be spacebar like it is with lots of other games. Okay. So if I make that bit, that air, uh, there, area, so that can be a staff room. That designates a staff room. That's fine, right? Stripies. This bit still can be secure, like that. It's quite a big secure area, isn't it? But okay, that's fine. That can be the waiting room. That's good. And then the security bit, so it's going to have to kind of be open. Like, oh no, that, the thing made a noise, didn't it? But what's it telling me to do now? Security, there we go. With secure area established, you can now build security checkpoints to allow the transfer between areas. A very important part of any airport is having structured queuing. Uh-oh, structured queuing. Once a security checkpoint has been built, you can click on it to reveal its control panel. Here you can designate what person to what person. Hang on, what? Here you can designate to what person, type of person, the security checkpoint. Right, okay, should cater to passengers, employees, or both. Oh, you can have a special passenger-only kind of bit. Oh, that's quite cool. The build queue option will allow you to create structured queues, which the passenger generally prefer, even though it's not required. Okay. Build a security checkpoint and then build a queue for it. Remember, checking desks also have structured queues built the same way. Uh, use you to display queues. Okay. So we need to put security checkpoints in. Do I want to create a little bit along there for the for the staff to come in? Yeah, see, what I don't know is when the planes come in, I haven't built anything yet. I've built, I've built a wall. When planes come in, I'm going to want a way to be able to get out and get their bags and then get out of here again, aren't I? And I haven't even factored that in. I might need to put a little bit on the edge here, like a departure lounge, if you like. Not a departure lounge, an arrivals bit. Tack that onto the side and have them come out here and clear off that way. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I don't know how that how that's going to work exactly. And never mind, I'll figure that out later. Now let's just do what we need to do. So, uh, security checkpoints. So they can be like this then. So do they? Can they be like that? Just over the edge, near the walls? Yeah. One, two, three, four, and five. Is that is that right? Okay, so they're still building all this stuff. That's fine. They can build all that. And now. Click on the security. You, it said to look at queues. Ah, okay, little green bits appeared. That's where the queue begins. How do I interact with the queue? Do I click it and drag it? How do I interact with the queue? Hang on, what did it say? What did it say? Build a security checkpoint and then build a queue for it. Maybe the security checkpoints need to be built first. Possibly, click it. Build queue, okay, fine. Ah, right, hang on, and yes person type so let's have that one at the end to just be for employees like that so that still needs a queue build a queue oh look yes you can just do it like this can you okay fine well they're not going to have a very big queue because that's just for staff so let's do that for them i want to come out of that now okay like that good right and then that can just be for everybody so we'll build a queue for you Let's put it four out oh, like that. Look, everyone loves a windy queue in an airport. Yeah, like that. And then that one can just be for 
passengers build that queue. So it went, what, three, four over? Like this. Yeah, this is good. This is looking good. I like this. Right, and another queue. That's just for passengers as well. Right, again, this is going to be very familiar. Build a queue. Oh, and it's gone a bit wrong. Do you know what? Never mind. Like that'll do. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, again, another passenger only desk. Oh, and that's gone wrong. That's wider than the other one. Never mind. Whatever. It's the one nearest the end. It's probably going to be the busiest. Okay. So, things with queues. That's sorted. They're all <laughs> they're all in the break room. I like that. They're all in the staff room. There's nothing in the staff room, but they're all in there. That's good. And there's a door so I can get out. Right. Okay. I've done that. Oh my goodness. Aircraft fuel services. Uh, this is the bottom of the page. That's the bottom of the page. I can't. I can't do anything else. Uh, I, apparently, I'm ready to go. I oh, know it's setting up building, check-in desks. Yeah, I need those as well. Let's put those in. Let's just put three check-in desks, shall we? Right. Let's pause it a sec. Items in for the check-in desk. Right. Okay. Here we go. Check-in desks. Which way? People are coming in that way. I assume. Yeah, like that. Don't want to build them with a gap at the back. Yes, this is what I don't know. I don't know how to do the the thing, the conveyor thing. Like, where's that? Where's the conveyor belt thing on my bob go? I, I don't toggle conveyor belt. I don't know where the conveyor belt is. Where do you even build the conveyor belt? I've got no idea. Uh, okay, maybe I need to research it or something. I, uh, whatever, I don't know. So let's just put in check-in desks. Let's leave a gap at the back. So like that. So let's have uh, one, two three, four. Let's have four check-in desks. An info desk can go at the end there, like that. And another one there as you come in. So that's useful. I like that. Boarding desk and airport screens. Oh, I do like an airport screen. Right, okay, let's have, uh, is there a four? Is there a front and a back? Don't know which is the front and the back. That looks about right. Let's put one there uh, and about a couple in the middle here, just as you come in so you can see what's going on. In fact, let's put one there. That's good. Oh, I think that one might be the wrong way round. Let's put another one next to it, whatever. Uh, and what about one at the end of the check-in desks? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Right, okay, good. I like putting the little bits in the right, sofa. Allows three people to rest comfortably and looks very stylish. Ah, yeah. Can we zone the floor? Can we do the floor? Which was floor? Structures. Floor. Okay. Can we pick a floor? How about, uh, floors are used to make your airport pretty. They come in a wide variety of different materials and patterns. Just pick and choose. Okay, so if I want that one, do I have the white tile floor now? Or if I say floor, uh, hang on, floor, and then blue for the airport, I think. So let's have a wooden staff room floor like that look. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. And then the rest of the airport can be, yeah, blue can be the nice neutral, you know, your, your safe zone, if you like. This is the nice area. So, Bosch, blue. And then security can be, uh, if I can click it. Oh, I don't like that very much. Uh, security can be that kind of, I oh, know that is the colour, isn't it? That's what it is now. Kind of a kind of rubbishy brown colour. Yeah, like that. Booth, security. And then once you've, once you're in, it can be that sort of rubbishy kind of grey colour because it's not very exciting. Oh, and it's white. That's okay. That's not so bad. That's all right. I won't mind that. There we go. Let's drop that in. And there we go. We've got floors. Lovely. Okay, well, let's speed time on. Let's put it onto normal because then they can start building the check-in desks and things. And I can start putting cues and stuff on those. Right, what was this? Fuel. A great source of proven economic growth in relation to airport operations is the offering of airport fuel services. Aircraft are generally propelled by two different types of propellant. This is very educational as well as, again, Avgas 100LL and Jet A1. Avgas 100LL is typically consumed by smaller GA aircraft. Yep, this was written by someone who knows about planes. I don't know what a GA aircraft is. While Jet A1 is an A-grade propellant used by commercial aircraft. Right, big planes that I go on holiday in. There are, however, of course, exceptions, and it may vary depending on aircraft model type. The first thing you need to do is procure a fuel technology via the procurement panel so that you can build fuel depots and accept contracts. Before you can offer aircraft refueling services, you need to sign a contract with an aircraft fuel provider. Uh, do this by navigating to the Contracts tab in the Economy panel. 
<sighs> uh, and review your aircraft fuel provider offers. You must also have procured either Avgas 100 or Jet A1 fuel technology, depending on what you plan to offer. So which one do I do first? The first thing you need to do is procure fuel technology via the procurement panel. Where is that? Where is the procurement panel? Don't know where that is. Uh, is it somewhere obvious? Procurement panel? Economy? Procurement panel. There we go. Oh my goodness. Right, there's an awful lot here. Procurement director is required to procure assets or unlocks. Hire one via the boards panel. Staff. Board. Uh, okay, procurement director. Application open. Applicants. Oh my goodness, this is very, very complicated goings on. Okay, so I need to get myself a procurement director. Uh, okay, and you're what? You're part of the board? You're, okay, how do I find a procurement director? Do you just come up? Ah, here you go. One of these. So uh, Melissa Fontana, Lucy Walker, or Zhang Yong Li. Well, you pay the most, and I appear to have a lot of money. So let's just get you. Let's just hire you. As a procurement director. Then go to economy. Now I can have one of these. So I need to have a an oil jet A1 fuel service. Cost uh, $100,000. Oh, goodness me. Right, okay. Unlock now. You do not have the requirements for this product. An aircraft stand. Okay, this is very confusing. Okay, so I can't have this last bit then. This aircraft fuel service bit I can't have. So I don't have the right stuff. But now I've employed another employee that also can't help me do anything. Okay, fine. Manuals. Uh, can I just go back to manuals? The construction one is almost done. Aircraft and airlines. Franchise. Conveyor belt system. That might be important. Uh, are there any other manuals? No. Okay, fine. So to learn everything about establishing food and shop franchises at your airport, that's what we want as well. There's a little car. Hello, car. I don't know who's coming in. The airport's shut. I don't know why you're coming in and doing anything, but never mind. Hello, welcome. Oh, look. The little conveyor belts are running. Right, conveyor belt system. Let's learn about that. How do we handle baggage? Complex machine. Oh, the graphics. How am I supposed to see what that says? Head to procurement tab by the economy panel and purchase the system. Oh, so I have to buy little bits and bobs for it. Okay. Economy, procurement, uh, baggage handling service. Unlock now. I don't have the requirements for this product. Product. What? I thought I thought I bought a procurement person. I need a COO. What, what's a COO? Okay. I've got a CEO. Can I have a COO? E-I-E-I-O? Staff. Staff. Okay. Uh, the board. A COO. Chief Operating Officer. Want to expand and handle complex baggage operation. A COO is the right person to make this happen. Okay. Open for applications. Come on, become COOs, everybody. Okay, there's two. You'll do Richard Williams. Oh no, let's have Stelios. Stelios Vlahos. Let's have him. $100.4 an hour. Yeah, right, let's hire you. Now can I have some stuff? Can I have the thing now? Where was it? Economy, procurement, baggage handling. Yay! Right, okay. So now what? I need to wait for it to be delivered? Or something? Don't really understand that. Okay, fine. So I've spent some money on baggage handling, but I can't actually handle any bags at the moment. Okay, so the tutorial sort of has ended a bit there. The tutorial has kind of just stopped. Stop short. It doesn't really tell me how to do a lot of the things that I was expecting. Okay, yeah, so there's bits missing. Graph not found, modules not found, or whatever. That's absolutely fine. Emails. Okay, lots of things. Um, I've had many of airline in general, aviation customers, so I have to ask for refueling. Okay, we can't do that. Uh, golden opportunity. Pay quick. <laughs> Dr. William Munro, a staff in the private section. Uh, wow, one of our accounts holding balance of £50 million pounds sterling. Wow. Okay, yeah, I, I think I might delete that one. I get those. I don't want them in my game. I get them for real. I don't want those. Okay. So... Yeah, how do I do this now? Clarissa Schumann, the city of Nottingham. Good things about your airport franchises. Okay, can I put some queues on these? That might be a good idea. Build a queue. Okay, let's just pop a queue in like this. Look, because this is where people are going to want to go. 
straight to this. This is where they, that's what they're here for. They're here to go on holiday and check in or whatever. So let's just do this quick. So it goes out for down, 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 and over. Splendid. Right. Bill Q. Down, down, like this. Going like this. It's all fairly formulaic. I'm fine. And the last one, build a Q. Familiar to the other ones. Very, very much the same. Right. Do these have Qs? No. So they don't have a Q. Okay. So the airport's still closed. They're still in the staff room. Everything's kind of sorted. So what do we need to actually get a plane? How do we get an aeroplane in? Aircraft and airlines. That might be helpful. Aircraft stands. Ah, aircraft are a core element of your airport's operation. Aircraft require an aircraft stand to be able to park at your airport. There are several stand sizes that can be built. The small aircraft stand can be operated by both general aviation, small private planes, and smaller commercial flights. If you want to enable commercial flights in a stand, the stands are required to be placed adjacent to a terminal building with a secure zone and to be connected with a boarding desk. Stands that are only intended for operation by general aviation, ah, GA, can be placed anywhere and do not require direct connection with a terminal structure. Okay, well, let's have the big stuff. So, small aircraft stand or a medium aircraft stand, commercial flights can be built with concrete or asphalt foundation. Okay, so where are they? Structures, were they in structures? Uh, infrastructure, there, there, small stand. Or a medium stand. Well, how about we have... Oh, my goodness. That, okay, yeah, that's bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be small. How much is a medium stand? Mother Hubbards. Okay, that's huge. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That's bigger than I was expecting that to be. Shall we have one of each? Let's have one of each. Let's have a stand there. Medium stand. And a small stand next to it. Or a couple of small stands, maybe. I don't know. Let's just have a small... Let's have one of each just to see how that works. Because that looks... Fun. So there we go. Two of those. Oh, I've pressed a button. I don't know what I've clicked. I clicked a button. <laughs> now it's going away. Ah, okay. Once you started the terminal construction, place some aircraft stands to get started on the construction on the air side of your airport. Okay. So now, are they going to be? Let's speed time on. Three. Are they going to be? Ah, so they're rushing out now. Let's get this stuff here for us to go and build with. In come the worker ant people. They're rushing outside the airport. Okay. Do I not need a gate? Do I not need gates to stop people kind of running in? Okay. So now do they all work on the stands? Yeah, I don't really know. So how, like the planes come in that way, I assume. So how do we build the rest of it? Oh, it looks weird. Okay, hang on. Pause, 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 pause. There's a big power button in the middle saying, I need some power, please. Is my airport just in the dark? <laughs> I've got no electricity of any kind. Continuing airside construction. Okay. Oh my goodness. Right, okay. This is very in-depth. It's very, very in-depth. Do I not need some sort of electricity? There's a massive power thing there. And also, I feel like I should have built some floor for them. Like a like a, a ground of some sort. You know, like a tarmac area or something. Ah, okay. Let's just put tarmac there. Let's just do tarmac. There we go. Three. That will look a bit better, I imagine. That'll look nicer. Right. To support aircraft operation, you need to construct a runway and an air traffic control tower. These can look very easily, so this step will not go into details of that here. Oh, good. Instead, we'll focus on taxiway construction. First, we'll need to lay down a taxiway foundation of your choice. Ooh, I'll make sure it covers a full path from the runway to any aircraft stands. After placing the taxiway foundation, you can then specify the taxiway path, which is the path an aircraft will follow. Make sure that all aircraft stands have a connection with the runway center line. Press T to toggle taxiway paths. Right. I, this is going to go wrong, isn't it? This is going to go wrong. So a small runway. That's what I can build at the moment. So a small runway. Again, that isn't as small as I thought it was going to be, but okay. Right. Where do we want? Okay. Let's have it back here. I mean, I know I've got a lot of room, but whatever. We can always start a new airport if we have to do things again. So let's put a small runway just, I don't know. Let's put it arbitrarily just there. There we go. Small runway. Yay. Okay. Uh, make sure the aircraft stands a connection with the runway center lines. So they've got to come out and round, have they? Okay. So taxiway foundation. Let's have concrete, concrete, asphalt, asphalt. Yeah, I've got that already. So yes, it looks fine. How wide does one of those have to be? Like how, how big does one have to be? So 10, like that. And then cut that across the back like that. So something like that. 
to there, and then to there, like that. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Once the taxiway paths has been constructed, yes, yeah, so well then we need to do this end as well. So something like that. And then that along to say, how far down does that go? Five, so to there. And then that to there, like that. Maybe, so they can come in and taxi round. I don't know, speed time on. Let's get the little the little contractor builder man to build all this stuff. This might take a long, long while. This is the perfect time for a sip of tea. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay. So yes, yeah, so I press T to toggle taxiway paths. Now maybe that because there's not a taxiway in existence yet, it won't let me do that. What I want to do, I kind of just want to get the ba the very basics in. We've got check-in desks. We've got that. We do need a a thingy desk, didn't we? Uh, what did it say up there? A boarding desk. While we're doing this, why don't we get a boarding desk sorted? Get a boarding desk, say, just here. Let's just do one for now. Uh, I can't really see that very clearly. What way round is that supposed to go? So it's going to be like that with people at the front. Or like that. I can't really see which way round that's supposed to be. Okay, let's just drop one in. Boarding desk. It looks like that's about the right way round. And another boarding desk. And I assume I have to assign the boarding desk to a thing. So that says it hasn't got any power. Baggage bay connection, security connection. And does not accept commercial flights and cannot transfer passengers. Okay. Right, this is getting very confusing. Continuing as I construction. And another thing that's went bloop bloop. Okay. Come on, right, let's wait. I'm gonna, it's going as fast as it can. We're going to wait for them to have finished working on the taxiway because at the minute we can't do anything. I think we need the taxiway complete for us to be able to do anything because, yeah, look, the, the lines don't do anything. So I think we might have to wait until they've finished. So what does it say after that? So the taxiway, once the taxiway paths has been constructed, you can right-click on them to place out holding points. A holding point is a position on the taxiway on which an aircraft can hold and wait. I.e. further instructions from the air traffic controller are, and are very important to ensure the aircraft can safely enter and exit a runway. Place as many holding points as you like and they can be used to better control the flow of your ground traffic. Okay, so I need to construct an ATC tower as well, which I don't imagine is cheap. Uh, where were they? I swear I saw one of those earlier. There! A small ACT tower. Let's put it here. Let's put it so it's... Do you want to put it next to the airport? No, probably not. Let's put it here next to the nothing. Let's just drop it out here in the middle of nowhere. That'll do. That'll do for now. Uh, also, a weather, can we put a weather station in? Because that looks like a fun thing to have on board. Yay, weather station for no discernible reason. Okay, so yeah. So now it wants me to lay down the taxi foundation, which I've done. Drag out the taxiway paths to make sure they're all connected. And toggle the holding points by right-clicking on the taxiway path. T, but of course, the taxiways aren't complete from the runway yet. So we can't do anything. Okay, so what else was there? What other manuals have appeared? Let's go back. Franchise and conveyor belt system. So the conveyor belt system, can we have that now? Has time passed enough for us to have that? Because we did buy it, didn't we? Okay, this is a great undertaking. This requires a lot of resources to start with. Okay, we might do that next time out because, yeah, this is this is hard. This is very, very detailed. It's very in-depth. It's, it's a lot more sim than I was thinking. It's, you know, very much strategic and quite high level. You know, you need the right things. You need to sell your fuel and do all that kind of stuff. So I imagine this might take some getting used to, but I think we'll be all right with it. I think we'll be pretty cool with it. Okay, what's this then? Baggage bay and security connection. Pushback point. Accepted flights. So yeah, general aviation. Yeah, and com no, not commercial. Not commercial. Ah, right, okay. Can we attach these now? Connect stand. Yeah, okay, cool, man. That's good. That's done. And now you connect stand to that one. Yeah, okay. So now they're connected to the stands, are they? Can we can we not click on them ever again? Why can't we click on anything? Hello. Hello. Tab. And back in the room. Okay, we can't click on the we can't click on the check-in desks ever again. They've gone. They've vanished out of the out of the ether. They're not there. They simply don't exist. Okay, fine. And we can't click on that either. And the runway's gone. Okay, we've got... Oh, no, do I need to make a tarmac runway or something? Yeah, I'm not having people land on bloody grass. That's just stupid. Okay, yeah, a tarmac runway, please, would be ideal. Let's just drop that in now. There we go. So the runway is a literally designated area, not an actual surface. So you could have them landing on grass if you wanted. Why is there a power thing? Why is there a power? I don't know what that means. Uh, is it just because it's closed? 
Upgrades. Oh, I do like this. Upgrade to asphalt. Yeah, do that as well. Do that and build papi lights. I like papi lights. Build. Can I, I, oh, maybe I can't do that yet. Oh, I've just put a thing somewhere. What have I just put just there? What have I put just there? Papi light. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't put lights there. Just delete that. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize. <laughs> didn't realize there were like little things that were going to appear. I just thought they just appeared on it. Right. How would they go on the thing? Someone did tell me what these did in the other airport game that I have played, but I genuinely can't remember now. I'm just going to drop a few on the air, on the on the runway. I can't even see what I'm doing there. Let's put them on the end. There and there. That'll do. Is that good? I've no idea. Whatever. There we go. That's fine. That'll do. So, they're still going. They're still going. This is going as quick as it can. So, uh, yeah, okay, fine. Let's just wait. Let's wait until uh, we've got this thing done. Is it T that brought the line up in the middle? Oh, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing now. I'm very confused. Okay, yeah, I think it might be T that brings the line up in the middle. I need to go and check. But let's wait for them to finish doing all of this work first. Okay, so the taxiway is done. The taxiway is complete. Look, there is the taxiway. It is fine. There's the runway. However, when I press the button, so in here it says, uh, there you go, diddly doodly do. Uh, toggle holding points by right clicking on a taxiway path. Press T for visual guidance. It's drag out taxiway paths. Make sure all taxiways are connected. So you go, okay, right. I would press T and the only thing that happens is a little green dot appears just here. I don't know what to do. I don't understand how this is supposed to work. Like if I press T, nothing happens. I don't really know. I'm thinking, am I supposed to have put these taxiway bits at the end of the runway? Or am I supposed to put them at the side? Because I, I don't really know how an airport works. I would assume the plane would just drive off. It would go, yeah, I've landed. And then carry on going and go to the end. But maybe not. So maybe I'm supposed to put in taxiway path for aircraft to follow. Drag on top of taxiway foundation to connect stands and runways. Am I supposed to do that? Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to build this? Taxiway no. Taxiway path for aircraft to follow. Or am I supposed to build taxiway foundation asphalt on the side here, say? Let's just do that. Let's see if that makes any difference. I don't I genuinely don't understand the whole taxiway thing. It looks to me like it's blocked off. It looks to me like a like a barrier of some sort. I don't really understand. I also did hire an extra 10 contractor people because they were taking absolutely bloody ages doing this i'm losing quite a lot of money by the way i've got a million dollars left but i'm losing quite a lot of monies but i've nearly done the actual proper sort of concrete whatever it is base to the runway which is lovely they've nearly finished that so that's underway that's good so yeah we need to get this done i, I really don't understand this whole tea business i don't understand but yeah and if you try and open these it just goes nope requires a taxiway connection I don't know how to get one of those. I don't get it. Taxiway path for aircraft to follow. Drag on top of taxiway foundation to connect stands and runways. Yeah, so now that implies that I have to do it this way. Just like a line. So follow this and go like this way. And then come in here. Like that, look. And then another one. Like that. Like that. And then another one there. And another one up. And then you do it all the way across the middle of the runway? I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making this up entirely as I go along. Okay. Is that is that a thing? Is that fine? Can we open the stand? Oh, all right. It's open. Okay, that works then. Okay, and holding points. We can right-click, it says. Holding point. Select settings. Holding regular setting. I don't understand. It told me to right-click. Holding point. Right-click twice to rotate. Oh, I don't understand that at all. I don't get that. I don't know what that is. However, we have built ourselves a little control tower thing. I don't know what that is outside. But yeah, look, we've got a control tower and a weather station as well. Lovely. Okay. Like if I right click those, holding point, click twice to rotate. Yeah, they're all holding points. Oh, I don't understand what's going on. I don't flipping know. Okay, fine. I've done that, I think. Drag out taxiway paths to make sure they're all connected. I mean, it would help if the pictures were clearer. If I'm perfectly honest, <laughs> it would help if the pictures weren't that because i genuinely can i don't know what that's supposed to show me 
that it is just blurry. It's blurry and somewhat useless. So yeah, so that's no good to me at the moment, but that's fine. So they're both shut. Let's put time onto one speed. Okay, so that's it. I think we've got kind of the very, very basic. We haven't got any people, but I think that's a pretty good start. This is very comprehensive. It's very comprehensive. And I'm sure once we're actually in, once we actually understand it and know the mechanics and how it all works, I'm sure it'll be fine. But I will be perfectly honest, right now it does seem a little bit kind of bewildering. There's an awful lot of stuff. Do you know what? Very, very quickly thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and find, come back out of that, construction. The last one of these was about putting fuel stuff in. Fuel services are a few, two fuel types. That was it. I want to get the Jet A1. I want the larger commercial stuff. Uh, procurement on the economy thing. That was it. Economy, procurement, and there we wanted the, uh, there we go, the Jet A1 fuel service. 100,000. Yeah, let's unlock that and make some money. There we go. And now that means, for according to the manual, let's go down again. Uh, do, 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 contract the aviation fuel supplies required. Fuel depots must be constructed prior to offering the service when your fuel depot, the aircraft refueling service, must be toggled on the operations panel. So a, a fuel depot. Where is that? <laughs> oh, look, things are appearing down here. Ah, right, okay. So presumably I can't have a fuel depot until that thing is researched and then more things appear in here. Right, okay, I'm slowly getting it. Oh, and a baggage claim area. Defines an area where passengers arriving on domestic flights can claim their baggage must be outside the secure zone and contain conveyor belts to operate. Okay. So this is what I don't understand. They come in. How do they get to a non-secure zone? They're going to have to have an extra bit on the side, aren't they? They're going to have to come out here and come around. There's going to have to be a special area here to let them out. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We'll build that in. So yes, it's comprehensive. It's quite big. There's an awful lot going on. It's... Uh, yeah, it's not as immediately pick up and play as I thought it was going to be, but I think, yeah, once I've mastered it, once I've actually got the hang of how it all fits together, and, you know, it's going to be developed because it's early access, I think this could be very, very good. It's very in-depth and very detailed. Once I've mastered it, I think I will enjoy this an awful lot. There's a lot of nuances and things that, you know, I'll learn as I go along, and I think, ah, yeah, never put a runway next to a thing, always have a gap or whatever. But for now, I don't know these things. So, uh, yes, but we're going to come back. We shall come back to this because I kind of just want to get a, get some planes in. I've got an airport. I spent an hour building a bloody airport with no planes in. So, um, yeah, it's not the best. It could be going better with uh, in terms of yeah, having an actual plane at your airport and possibly some people. But, uh, yes, we'll come back to this. So, for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off. I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.